Well, how diddly diddly dandy that chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today chums for you guys in the view of Earth. I'm hitting up No Man's Sky, and I'm going to be running the Cursed Expedition. Now, I'm going to be running this from inside of the Spatial Anomaly, behind the Nexus Cube, from the console, and I'm going to be taking a load of gear with me to make this as easy as possible. I've already done this on my PC, so this is lessons learned from my PC save. I'm now doing it on my PlayStation 5, and I'm going to do it as quickly as possible. Now I'm going to rob, still cheat, cut corners everywhere to get this done as quickly as I possibly can. So if that's a guide for you, stay locked in. If you want to do this the legit way without cutting corners, probably not the right guide for you. Anyway, here you go. I'm starting off by the scrap metal vendor inside the station. You find them at the back underneath like this um, giant sort of core underneath the staircase to the right hand side. So over here, is your scrap vendor men vendor now what you want to do is go into options this is providing you you can do this you haven't locked your settings and just put it into creative mode that makes everything three now the only why you, you should do this is if you're trying to get the permadeath or the survival trophies on your save because if you do that it, it, you, you, you won't get them anymore okay so anyway i've put it into creative mode I'm going to go and speak to this chappy. I've already completed the game in permadeath and survival mode. Lovely jobs. So here we go. Acquire coordinates. Even though it says that it's going to be like 1.6 million units, because I'm in creative mode, that is free. Okay. Then you want to run derelict freighters. You want to run you know, at least maybe two of them until you've got 600 tainted metal. Now, as long as you get like the captain's log and the crew manifest and sell those back to that vendor, you are going to get even more tainted metal. So I, I actually only run one okay? and I've got 819 tainted metal. You're going to need that. Take that with you. The other thing that we're going to need, I might as well get rid of that. Don't really need it. This is all the stuff that I'm going to be taking. I'm going to take uh, some bionic laws. So if you are in creative mode and you've got the blueprint, you can actually create bionic laws for free. Just, you know, just hammer them. I've got 500 with me. That's more than enough. I've got some life support gel. I've got some unstable plasma, some launch fuel, some ammo, the tainted metal. Okay, so the weapons that I would really like is a plasma launcher. So I want S-Class plasma launcher upgrades. And I would also like to have um, pulse spitter. So let's hope that he's got either of those. He's got the plasma launcher. Brilliant. So I'm going to purchase that. He's got mining beam. He's got scatter blaster. Hmm. So rather than go for the pulse spitter, I could go for the scatter blaster. And that's not a bad weapon to use. Uh, reload time isn't as good as I would like. For, I would prefer the pulse spitter, but I'm going to grab that anyway. So let's just go for scatter blaster. And you know what? Rather than take with me the pulse spitter, I'm going to take the scatter blaster just because it's probably going to be easier to do from here. So I've got the scatter blaster here anyway. So shell greaser, I'm going to package that out instead of the pulse spitter. And there's a, another module for this that helps it along a bit. And I haven't got it in here. The secondary, oh, yes, I have. It should be the shell grease. So there we go, scatter blaster. That's it. So you should have the scatter blaster and the shell greaser. Okay. Now, I'm reloading my save here. What you can do if you've got something inside your teleport terminus, you can teleport there, teleport back again, up to you, whichever you feel is quickest. With PlayStation 5, the load times are pretty darn quick. So I just reloaded my save. Once it's reloaded, I'm just going to head on back over here and then you can repurchase locate those items all over again. And yeah, you've got a shed load of S class modules. Now, you only need to install three of these modules, but I'm going to buy maybe six of each and get a full stack of them that way when i do have to sell a load of additional ones for nanites to get the nanite quota i can sell those as well as that thermal protection one that i'm not going to bother using okay oh and something not to forget is you need to go see the cartographer and you need to grab some maps so i mean you can take a massive chunk of maps with you so i'm just gonna buy specific chart maps and the ones that we want is these ones down here, the planetary chart maps, the alien cartography data. It's got like a little picture of like a knowledge stone on. I'll just grab 99 of those because I'm in uh, you know creative mode. And then I'm pretty much, I think I'm pretty much ready to go. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of a couple of stacks of those. So I've just got 40. There we go. That'll do me. And I've just got to do a couple more reloads to get those up to the quota that I want. 
Right, so I'm up on board my freighter, which classes as a base, and I'm just going to go into here, uh, into my removable technologies, and I'm going to get a portable phone, put it right in this doorway right here. I've got a little save point so I can make a little save, and all I'm going to do is take the tainted metal that I've got, I'm not going to spin it into nanites or anything like that. And that I'm going to do inside of game as well, just in case I haven't got quite enough nanites. But here you go, tainted metal. Stick that in there. And all I'm going to do is grab myself another refiner and put it over this one. And it has to be exactly on top of it, like so. And then I'm just going to do that again. And again. And I'm going to do it a few times. Then when you actually destroy the refiner, it actually duplicates everything that you got in it. So here we go, watch. Look above my head. I'm going to get loads of tainted metal. Okay, so something I've got here. I've got a stack of um, multi-tool ones that I can take with me. So I'll take those. I've got some starship ones, which are going to expand the starship. Lovely. Take those with me. And the other one that I need is exosuit. But I don't know whether I've screwed any of those away. So I'll take a look-see. Something that I have here is some salvage data. I'll take that with me as well. I've also got some glass, some sentinel glass that I'm going to take with me as well. But yeah. Now you do have to take some Mordite to create some blood vials at one stage. And it's not a lot that you need. I've just spotted that I've got some Mordite there. So if I've got a free slot, I'll take it with me. But I wouldn't say it's overly essential. You know, there's quite a lot of things that you can shoot, to be fair. Yeah, chums, well, that's all the pre-prep done. So I'm going to head inside of the old Nexus and hit up the console at the back. There we go, let's fly on in. Let's get into this. Thank you. Now, before I even start, I'm just going to turn off the multiplayer inside of this save. Go. Cool. I don't want anybody giving me stuff as I'm standing at that console and something weird happening or going wrong. So let's head on over to the console now. And let's put everything in that I want to take on this expedition with me. Let's just see what the console state is like. And make sure that I ended off the previous one so I can start this new one. Yes, cool. So here we go. Select equipment. And let's put in the old technology and everything else. OK, I didn't bother with the fishing rod in the end. You mean you do get it fairly early-ish, so I wouldn't worry too much about the fishing rod. But there we go. I've got all my modules in, so I can you know, turn that into nanites. And now I've just got to do all the bottom area. Won't be a moment. Well, chums, I think I'm ready to rock and roll, I guess. So there we go. You can see everything that I've got there. I've got some mango gold and some aronium, mainly to turn into gold and silver, respectively because that's going to help immensely for creating some of the elixirs later on. Now, what I don't have is Atalantium, but you do get quite a lot on planets anyway, so that's neither here nor there. But yeah, that's everything that I'm taking with me. I'm hoping the Storm Crystals automatically pop the badge, and I'm hoping that the Tainted Metal automatically pop a badge, but we shall see. Hopefully we don't have to rerun those or get those. But here we go. Let's head start expedition. Let's see how we get on. Cool. Yeah, I accept. Let's go do this. Right. Well, we started the actual expedition. You had to hold down square to initiate it. But there we go. Brilliant, eh? Look at all the swirly twirly man stuff. It's very much like this throughout the whole thing, to be honest. So, chums, I think you're probably going to be able to get yourself to your ship and get it repaired and maybe get yourself to the first rendezvous. If I come across anything that I think you might struggle with, freaking giant worm, awesome. I'll be sure to hit you up and let you know. But to be honest, there's nothing that difficult in the first sort of segments from here. There is a couple of badges that you can pop before you've even left the planet. I'll show you those real quickly. OK, well, I've initialized in. Now, something you can do right from the off, because you've got a terrain manipulator, is you can make the beam really big by using R2. And just go into the ground here. And just sort of, you know, Mine a load out, make it as big as possible, and just keep mining. And you, you're going to pop a badge for no, tunneling, basically. But because we've made this nice and big, hopefully we're going to pop it super quick. Let's get rid of that. Oh, yeah, you're going to see the. Oh, geez. Uh, mine, please. Mine! Right. And I was just clearing that thing off, and I went and put it back to restore, didn't I? There we go. Just do this. Keep mining, and hopefully going to pop a badge. 
It's actually a phase two reward and it's called Fear of the Sun. You can see there that I'm, I'm almost done. It doesn't take long at all. Sweet, almost done. Come on. Oh, great. It stopped for whatever reason. What is it stopped for? Oh, there we go. A little bit touchy, wasn't it? There we go. Easy peasy badge to pop that one. And now we're just going to head towards our ship, which is over that way. Now that's going to give you salvage data, pre-packaged refiner unit, which you need. That's, that's pretty darn freaking awesome. So that gets you your refiner unit, which is essential for this really and you can just stick that straight in there so here it is boom lovely jobs isn't that awesome to have that right off the bat that's going to make things a lot easier and you see there i just popped that shining object it's actually given me some golden nuggets and it's given me this which you can stick straight into there and as long as you fuel it that's going to turn into silver freaking awesome saves you shooting a load of asteroids okay like, yeah, i might as well pop the gold as well get some gold inside of here that's going to come very in handy it's just an awesome badge to pop as soon as you start the game right now we've got to create another elixir of blood before we can interact with a portal now this always gets people because they make it and then they consume it thinking that's what you got to do no so i need a little bit more mordite and i also need gold now i did have some gold but obviously not enough gold by the looks of things i've only got 11 and I've still got a little bit of Mordite. I've only got two. So rather than hunt a load of fish in shallow water again and all that sort of shenanigans, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to use the duplication technique. Firstly, I'm going to duplicate the gold. So lovely, lovely gold. There you go. I don't know what happened to my gold because I did have like 30 of it. So somehow I've used it. Yeah. Let me put that right on top of that one. And I think you get the idea. And then I'm going to be doing the same with that Mordite. And that's going to take me ages. Right though. Yeah, I've got enough now. Once you've crafted it, do not drink it. Do not drink it. You have to go over to the actual portal itself. And you slaver it on. There's text. You don't actually do anything with your controller. See that? You see it comes up with the red writing? If you've drunk it, that doesn't happen. There you go. Done. You only need to drink the blood once to get the Quicksilver. Bit of an oddity. But there we go. Now we've opened the gateway. Now we're going through to Rendezvous 2. I think this is where the hand-holding can stop a little. And I'll just cover off the most complex of um, milestones after we've gone up to the Spatial Anomaly and managed to claim all of our stuff. Yeah, there we go. Gone through the old portal boundary, reinitialized in, hit that up. That's all of phase one done. We've got all the base parts. Anyway, fly on up and uh, see if you've got the ability now to call in the old spatial anomaly, which I have. And we're going to head on over there. You can see there that we've got a mission to collect ancient bones. There is a planet inside of the system to get your ancient bones, and it's that one there, Erston. Erston. You're going to have to go there to get your ancient bones. Now, if you do go to Erston, it's got activated copper. There's also storms. So if the storm crystal thing doesn't work when I collect my storm crystals, I would suggest go there to get your bones and your storm crystals. Otherwise, if you just want ancient bones, go to this one over here. A <laughs> lot less problems with storms. Go there, you're going to have a much pleasant experience. All right, so this console that we filled up with stuff, at the start, you're going to be taking everything out and put it inside of your inventory. Sadly, you have to do one at a time. It's going to take quite some time to transfer it all over. And you're probably going to run out of slots as well. So what I would suggest, if you have brought anything like this to increase your ship slots, make sure you take those because there's a good chance you, know, you can get those in um, at the station. So let's grab a load of this as well. Tinted metal. Hopefully that's going to pop the badge. I'll leave those ones in there. We'll also take the storm crystals and see if that pops the badge. Take those just to increase that. that. 
Storm crust, uh, the hyper crust. I'm going to take those two. Take some more of that. Definitely need that. Coolio. I'm going to take these because we can trade them in straight up there anyhow. Okay. So, here we go. Let's see if that pops any badges. There we are. Metal Bones has popped already. I just don't know whether the Storm Crystal one worked. I don't know. The Storm Crystal one didn't work. Darn it. Okay. Right. Well, let's fly on up. And uh, let's see if we can get some of that salvage data out the way. But I think here you should be all right to do a lot of the other missions. They're, they're fairly straightforward. Okay, and you want to go into purchase and then hit sell up here and sell any of the modules that you don't actually need. So I've installed my shield, so I can install that and get rid of that. I'm not going to bother with the combat scope or the pulse spitter. Uh, I've already installed some of the scatter blasters, so I can get rid of those. I didn't package up my plasma launcher, which was stupid. Uh, I'm going to keep hold of them just in case I do get a plasma launcher. If I find things hard, then I can use them. I've also got the mining beam modules. I need to get those installed, so let's get those in. But there we go. I've managed to get everything I need when it comes to that. And every time you jump system, you can also get an extra exosuit slot here if you've got enough units. So I might as well sell those storm crystals that I've got inside my person because they're not actually doing anything right now. So there we go. Quick tip, chums, if your um, has a protection, the purple bar goes low. If you take off from the planet and it, it, it refills. So as soon as you fly back into space, it automatically refills. Now, I did suggest going here to get both your activated like uh, storm crystals and also to get your ancient bones. The only trouble is as soon as that, that extreme storm kicks in, your purple bar just goes, it goes down super quick. So get your ancient bones on the lush planet, people, and then go back there for your um, for your other bits and bobs, for your storm crystals. There's another reason for that is you've got to get your ancient bones to get the hazmat gloves. Yeah, okay, once you've collected your ancient bones, make sure that you claim your uh, hazmat gauntlets and install them, and then we're off to the other planet, Hurston or whatever it was, to collect the storm crystals. Now, I don't have much space left after picking up all those bones, so I'm heading over to the Galactic Trade Terminal to sell them all. OK, now collecting storm crystals, you can actually collect them inside of an exomech. So you can come over to this chat and we should have quite a lot of nanites. We should be able to buy the exomech geobay. And the good thing about getting the exomech geobay is no, actually, I've already bought the Exomech from over here. So I got the Geo Bay from this terminal. And then you can get some technology over there. So I'll show you where the Exomech Geo Bay is. There it is. So it cost me 10 salvage data. So I've got that. Unlock that. Lovely jubbly. And then you can get additional technologies for your Exomech over here if you do want to make it a little bit more powerful. But it's not overly needed. Something that I feel that you kind of need, so I'm going to buy that radar, don't overly need the radar, but what I do need is the AI module, because I'm going to have this, hopefully, help protect me against the Sentinels later on. So I'm going to purchase a Kate that. Lovely job. And I may as well get myself some other bits as well, like the Minotaur laser and bits and bobs. Gonna need a lot of wiring looms to get all this installed though, people, but most of the other stuff is all very basic. Cool, so the Minotaur is gonna help you a lot against the Sentinels. Okay, on planet Hellston, the one that has ancient bones and storm crystals, I've put down a, a base. Now there is a technique where you can put down things for free. So say if I wanted to put down this geo bay. If I press the wire button, which is triangle, it tells you all the controls at the top there, triangle to go into wire mode. And if I press R2 to place and triangle at the same time, I can put it down even though I didn't have any of the materials to do so. Righto. Now then, now that I've got my actual exomech in, hopefully I can start putting in a bit of technology, make the exomech a little bit stronger. Sweet. 
And the AI autopilot is definitely something you need. You should have been gifted a quantum computer as a reward. And I'd imagine that's why we got given it, so we can actually have a Sentinel, uh, Minotaur, sorry, to help us with the Sentinel combat. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to be putting in a few other bits. You can see there I got some cobalt, got some wiring looms, so I'm going to go to town. Okay, well, with the AI unit installed, the ex Exomech actually just attacks these on its own. I'm not actually doing much at all, and it's, it's taken them out. So there you go, it's gone up to 25, 26, and the Exomech's doing that on its own. As long as I keep, you know, these things well popped, I don't really even fight back. So that's quite handy. Another thing, when you're inside of the Exomech, it actually protects your purple bar from going down as well. So now I can just go and collect these storm crystals just all willy-nilly. So having an Exomech really does help. It was well worth having an Exomech with me. Heck yeah. Collecting, the, collecting them, you don't even have to get out. It's as simple as. So there we go. Exomech has helped me no end that really is a very good tip. Get your Exomech, get it fully upgraded if you can. Awesome. Okay, right. I'm going to go back to my base now, I think. I've got given a battery. Sweet. And also, oh, we've got solar panel plans. Awesome. I build my base out. Okay, now I'm just helping my Exomech using my Runic lens, which I picked the multi tool up from the actual vendor up inside of the old Nexus because I've already got it from a previous expedition. So yeah, just taking out the jellyfish now. Come on, jellyfish. This does quite a lot of radial damage, so... Alongside the Exomech. I should make short work of these. Only got three more left to go on these guys. This is making mincemeat out of these. This was quite tricky in my first playthrough on my PC, I have to say. This is far easier. Boom. Take that. I guess. Kaboom! And we're done. Okay, when I've been given exosuit upgrades, I've just been exiting out by present circle rather than installing them. So I've now got a bundle of seven and all I'm going to do now, now that I'm struggling for inventory, is put this down and um, duplicate them. Now I've got 14 of them. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I've got a freaking packet of full of them. Yeah, loads of them. Well, there we go. That's helped me no end. I think I'm fully decked out with slottage. There's a planet in this system, Utalaya Hosh, and uh, that one has got Gravitino balls on because it's got aggressive sentinels. I need two to install the cannon inside of my Exomech, so I'm going to go do that. This planet looks like it's very oceanous, so you know what, I might fly out to sea, find a deep area of ocean, and just float for a while, because that's another badge to pop. Okay, so the one that I'm going to pop is called In Deep Water, and it's actually in Phase 4. Bit of a tricky one, this one, especially if you're in VR. If you're in VR, it doesn't work. Apparently, I've been told by a few, fair few people, that it's bugged, it doesn't work. So we go. So we need to get to about the depth of 60 U's, I think. So let's just see how deep this is. There's 60 U's right here. So now I just need to swim up and sit there for 60 seconds, I think. I think it works at 60 U's. I could be wrong. Let's see. Okay. Bring up the mission. Yeah, there you go, it's working. Just gotta sit here for 60 seconds. Hopefully no sentinels will find me and shoot me in the head. Any second now, the badge is going to pop. Done. Sweet. Easy peasy. Now, if that isn't working, it could be that your extreme bar has gone down, you know, your protection against the void or whatever. And those jellyfish alter time and space. So sometimes it can throw things off a little bit off kilter. So just keep that bar topped up is what I would say, people. Right, I need to go and find myself some, what are they called? Gravitino balls. So I need to go inland now to get some Gravitino balls. Here's my Gravitino balls. Let's grab those quickly then. And get a few more than I need. 
just in case I need some more later. Right, and back to my ship. Uh oh, that's giving me a free star freaking wanted level right off the bat, hasn't it? All right, well, let's try and get out of here as quickly as possible. Take to the skies. And I'll try and call in the uh, spatial anomaly as quickly as I can. Escape those, go back to my base and install the cannon in my exomech. And then I think I'm done for phase two. There we go. And I've got the cannon installed, so done diddly and done. Awesome. Right. So now I just need to create the elixir of blood. So you can't really duplicate the eclipse in the um, elixir of blood because there's always one ingredient like this one is the storm crystal, which is unique to each system. OK, so now I can go into here, pop the quicksilver to find the portal, go find my ship and we'll be going to rendezvous two. There it goes. My exo mech seems fairly happy. And we'll see you there. So to collect the Atlantium, you can just fly around in circles on a planet where you see a load of Atlantium in your ship and just shoot it from the sky. You don't even have to get out of the planet and do this on foot. Take note, so just shoot it all from the sky like I'm doing right here. Done, diddly and done. Okay, John, so now we've got to find two exotic creatures. So there is a planet inside this system called Today. And uh, that has at least one on it anyway. So just there, we're heading there. A scaly planet. Let's go there then. Sweet. Okay, now on planet to die, there's going to be at least one exotic creature, like I mentioned. But I think this might be the one with three droids on. And I think we can pop the badge just on this one planet. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just head on over this way and let's have a quick look, see what sort of animal it is. Yes, it is the droid planet. It's a lovely jubbly. There we go. Scandally scan. That's one. Now there's two other types of droid on this planet. I don't know whether all of them count as exotic, but we shall see. Come on, where's the other red dot gone? There's one. Huh. There it goes. It's a little bit smaller, that one. Done. And there we go. Genetic glitch. We got him. There's also one that looks like um, the Colossal Archives that walks around on the planet too. But there we go. We've got that. I guess. So that's quite a difficult badge to pop, mainly because people leave this system. And there you go. There's the one that looks like a Colossal Archive. And this is the system where there is no station. So if you do want to come back here, if you haven't put down a base, it can be very difficult to get back. This is the system that I would suggest that you build a base in. We've also got an infested planet here, which you're going to be needing to go and take out the worm spawn. So we've got, where is it? Oh, it's not even in this, it's in this phase here. Hundred tendrils, we've got to do that one. Okay, let's go get the hundred tendrils. Yeah, so here we go. Now I'm just using the runic lens on these guys. You can see how quickly that takes them down. Boom. Not too bad. I mean, I, I could use the scatter blaster that I powered up. Like that. We'll see how the scatter blaster does against this guy. Yeah, loads of health taken off. Boom. Done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We've got ourselves a sentinel interested in us now, though. Doesn't like the fact that I'm taking out these worm spawn. There you go, take that you. And have that. Okay, right. There's another one just up there. We're heading up there then. Cool, yeah. Now inside of this is also Serenity Reclaimed. I'm standing on the side of a hill right now, just staring up into infinity. Uh, I'm just gonna pop this purple canister. So I stay in this sort of time zone. Now sometimes it can turn from night to day to night today it's really quick i'm just going to stand and stare at the stars and reclaim serenity so you can see it's right here serenity reclaimed it's still the side of phase three so hopefully any second now should pop come on oh yeah it can be a bit finicky again if you're in vr this one is very finicky 
It can work, but it's pretty darn freaking crazy. I've had people saying that they just quit out and went to flat mode because they just couldn't get it to stay going. Well, there you go. Right, done. Got you. Sudden over here, then. I'm going to pop these guys yet again, but you saw me just kill three a moment ago, so let's just rinse and repeat what I've done before. You're done. Like that. There should be one more, shouldn't there? Yeah, there is one more. Just can't... Oh, there he is. You was looking like the terrain, my friend. Okay, right. There's another one down there. And then I'm done. As one of the gifts that you get given, you get given this, which is a wonder that I can't get outside of this expedition. I'm going to try transferring it over at the end and see if it actually completes my wonders catalogue inside of my legacy save. Right, so completing the 100 tendrils has actually given me the fishing rod. So now I can go and catch four anomalous fish. You're probably wondering, well, what planet do you catch them on? It's this one over here. Tolawan Akan is the redacted planet with activated idiom upon it. Oh, well, we've got this thing. Hello there. Well, how are you? We've got ourselves some sort of message. Nice. I'm going to shoot it. Blow it up. Take that, you! Just a, bit of bonus, just a bit of bonus footage there for you. I don't think you can blow it up, actually. All right. Okay, cool. Yeah. I've got to go to Tulawan Akan. Okay. Now, this is the planet that I'm going to build my base on. I'm going to make a little fishing hut. And that's pretty much it for this area. Now, you have got this thing that you can build. And you see my purple bar at the bottom there? When I hit this, look at it go back up again. Perfect to stick at your fishing place. So you can fish unimpeded. I guess. Sweet. Anyway, I'll get back to building my base. Okay. Now to do some fishing. Now you don't need bait. I did bring some bait with me. You can use chromatic metal, which is really good, to be fair. I'm just going to use this bionic law. Here we go. And there we go. Oh, a little bit of a tip. If you go into options, go into difficulty, scroll all the way down to where you see um, fishing and you can just turn it to auto catch and then it's going to catch the fishes for you. Easy peasy. Oh, there's dangerous creatures on this planet and they will come over and they will hit you while you're trying to fish. Just keep that in mind. So don't just walk away. Go. On. What the flying fudge? I've never caught a battery before. What the? How did that happen? What the? Was that just coincidence? I think I caught a fish at the same time. That was weird. Well, it wasn't an anomalous one. Look, still says uh, zero of four. Yeah, fine. Go a little fishy. i a little dishy. Hell a little fishy when the fish comes in. Oh, dang it. All right. There's something else to be mindful of. Those mind squids are going to keep turning up as well. There you go. I've just caught another one of the um, the fish. Uh, I think I've only got one left to go. One left to go. Okay, I think that's all of them. Should be all of them. Uh, that was one. That's weird. Okay. I guess I've got to go one more then. Yeah, there was actually... It said, I'm catching one fish... And then it gives me a different fish up there. Something's a little bit broken. Let's see if it does it again. So it's, there it says I caught a, sea, a singing sea snail. But there it says I just caught... Something's gone a bit broke. The fish that you catch isn't the fish that you net. What the flying fudge. That's weird. Okay, well maybe that's just something that's happened in the latest of patches. Because it was working fine on my PC the other day. Just make sure that's nicely topped up. Oh, no. Oh, no, we can have that open still. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, right. I've got to prepare the elixir of blood. And you'll see this time it actually needs... Oh, no, that's the wrong one. The right one has got Atlantium in the mix. That one, I think, is the correct one. I don't think I've got to do the one that's flashing at me. All right, I'll do the one that's flashing at me, but that, that seems a bit wrong. Okay, I think it's I think it's this one that I need, the Atlantean one. I'm fairly sure it is, in fact. Alright, well let's um 
pop the Quicksilver one inside of my starship. Starship, Quicksilver! And where is my ship? We'll fly there, but I'm fairly sure that's the wrong one. Come on, shippity ship. And we're on our way. Yeah, I've got a feeling this isn't going to work. Because I think it was flashing and telling us to build the wrong one. Now, a lot of people have hit me up and said that they've had problems with this portal. Maybe this is why it is. Yeah, oh, here we go. Yeah, we get off of blood. Actually, that was the right one. So go with the one that flashes then. How weird. Okay, right, cool. Sweet. So I guess if you're having problems with a portal and you've got lots of different vials of blood, just craft all the freaking ones. You know what I mean? Let's head on in. And then we go. Okay. These abyssal eyes can be a little bit shite because sometimes they can be underneath the ground. And if you're not careful, you can go and shoot them with your terrain manipulator and then they disappear forever. Okay, right, there's one right there. And something else to be aware of is when you do blast them, you've got to then pick up the eyeball. So just be prepared for that. Get ready to swim and go grab it. And another thing to be prepared for is the fact that you might run out of oxygen. And yeah, you're going to have to be picking up your kelp sacks relatively quickly. Kelp sacks, kelp sacks, where are you? There's one over there. Was a bit of a distance actually. There we go. And you can use your sweep scanner to find your next target. It's going to lock on, give you the rough direction, swim that way, done. Okay, I'm over there. All right. Last eyeball creature. I find the neutron cannons really good. As soon as you see them sort of come into life, boom, done. We can have him. That's it. That's all of those done. Wait. Lovely, lovely. Pop that. Right, now probably the hardest mission of all missions is to eliminate eight quadrupeds. And they're dissonant ones. They're the little freaking spider monsters. Well, I say spider monsters and little. They're, they're freaking spider tanks and they're blanking big. Ah, we've got to go back down to a planet Runcad, where I just was. But somewhere over land. Okay, well, someone's got like a settlement there. That must be pretty far inland. We'll go touch on down over there, I think, people. But you're looking for, if you can see them, you know, the. It's like the pillar type sentinels. They look like they're doing drilling or something. If you can spot those, the radiant shardy type ones, or whatever they are, I can't remember what they're called. Prismatic mirrors, that's it, or something like that. If you can spot them, Usually they've got spider tanks right next to them. Mm, I tend to spot them as and when I get out of my ship. It's very rare that you see them just flying over like this. So anyway, I might land and see if I can disturb the sentinels. You can see corrupt sentinel drones a freaking mile off actually. Look, they've got red icons everywhere. That's the first time I've noticed that. Okay, so we're just going to head towards those then, people. Ah, there you go. Look, that's what I was looking for. One of those. So you might see the red icons before you see that dissonant resonator. That's it. And you are going to see spider tanks with them. Now, what I want to be able to do is bring in my Minotaur. Now, you see there, I haven't got everything I need to bring it in. I could put a base computer down and do it that way, but I might just create what I need and put it down. Or oh, just need one more metal plating. Sweet. Okay, it should have the AI module already in. It should just follow me. Go on, mate. Yeah, he's on his way. Hopefully this is gonna make this a little bit easier than it was when I did this on my PC. Here we go then. Just charge up. Oh, there's no spider tank here right now. Oh, well, I'll blow this up. That should bring in the spider tanks. Bit messed up. That's the way it goes sometimes. Ow! Freaking bit me! See that? 
we get right you've also got to keep on top of these purple canisters we're just going to have two battles going on oh now they're hunting for me over here miles away from where i am i'm over here get bags Papa Chow, here I am. Boom, you're done. Right, anyway, I'm going to carry on. Got a lot to take out. What the fudge? Yeah, I'm up against my last tank. Kaboom, you're done. Now, the weird thing is, there's a trader tank came and landed, this guy here. And I shot at the tanks that were around him. And now, he's trying to do me in. Yeah, charms, right. So now we've got to find two alien ruins. Now, what I would say is if you use this signal booster like it tells you to, this thing doesn't work. Yeah, I'll show you. It doesn't find a relic site anyway, put it that way. It's completely busted. Uh, it's probably going to prove me wrong now and find me a relic site, but, you know, let's see. Oh, yeah, um, it's found me a drop pod. That's not what we're after not what we're after so at the start i brought along some cartography maps with me uh so let me see if i can find those inside my inventory space i think i put them inside my starship there they are there i'm gonna hit that up now pretty much anything that it finds is kind of a monolith or a relic site so there you go I, alien artifact detected it doesn't matter really what it finds just go to it and there's a good chance it's going to count as being a relic Right, okay, so here we go. That's uh, gonna find my ship. Where's my poxy ship? Oh, there it is. It's hard to even see my ship amongst all these combos. Freaking mental. <laughs> There's people from everywhere. Well, hello there, all. Right, let's uh, head on over then. Yeah, right, well, we've arrived, Kated. I hop from my ship like a grizzle. Head on over. Let's see if this counts. If there's anything that's got one of these, like, interactive y type plinths with it. So here we are. Let's see what it does. Sweet. Done. There's one of two. Right, let's hit up another one inside my starship. Uh, one of them. Zoom. What are you found for me this time? Another radiant artifact, but this time it's a ruined site. So yeah, pretty much anything counts with these maps. Lovely and jubbly. Yeah, I wouldn't bother trying to use the signal booster. The signal booster does a now. You're going to be there forever and a day. It's random freaking chance and luck. And trust me, it's it's not very lucky. Not very lucky at all. Over this way we go. Yeah, I've arrived at the other relic site. In fact, I've landed on the dang thing. Right, there we go. Let's interact with this. And that should do the trick. Thank you very much. And that's that done. Sweet. Right, so what's got what am I left to do now? This one here, enter into the final portal. Okay. Gotta prepare another elixir. And it's the one that flashes. And there we go. And uh, now I can get in my ship. Use the quicksilver to find my portal. So uh, there it is there. And I see you at the portal. Yeah, once you arrive at the final zone, you're going to get given this sort of icon to go and follow, which is like a giant squid lick. I guess. So we're heading over there. So this is following the face of glass. There we go. Let's go on over. Okay, now you should find a traveller's grave. And uh, I've just seen a whole patch of comms balls, so I'm assuming it's somewhere around here. It's probably not. Oh, okay, yes it is, it's somewhere down here. There it is. Right there. In amongst the comms balls. Sweet. Let's hit this up then. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Lovely jubbly. Go. And you get a nice little bit of lore. And that's pretty much that. Go. Cool. What the fudge? Why is it giving me an erased clam? 
there's something gone really badly wrong with this fishing stuff. Alright, cool. I got the elixir of water. But that was pretty buggy. Okay, drink the elixir of water. I haven't created it yet. There it is right there. Just Atlantium. Um, I'm going to create quite a lot of that stuff. And I'm going to take it back with me after I've completed the expedition. Because it lets you fight creatures over and over again. Pretty darn nice. There we go. Come on then, creature. Zap in the face. And again. Okay, that's not doing as much damage as I thought it would. That's quite weak, actually. Right, let's try using my... Oh, bolt caster seems to be doing alright on it. Let's try a scatter blaster. Scatter blaster's not bad. That's actually a bit quicker. Take that, scatter of evil. I might try my mining laser there. Runic lens, there we go. Just gonna melt him with this. Take that, you. It's not too bad. Once this gets up to blistering hot red heat, I'd imagine it's gonna do shed loads of damage. Go on. I guess. Oh my days. Those little guys are doing me loads of damage too. The runic lens, because I've got that many upgrades in it though, it's going to take a while before it gets up to temperature. Come on. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Zap, zap, zap. Come on, now we're starting to do proper numbers. Sweet. Ow! Darn it! Take that. Come on. He hasn't got far to go now. I've got my mining laser up on red. Well, that's hardly fair. We've got a freaking dinosaur fighting me as well. There we go. Got him. Sweet. We took him out with a mining laser, people. And that's pretty darn freaking mental, isn't it? Scaly meat. Let's eat some of that quickly. Let's get out of there. They're doing me quite a lot of damage. Pop that. Nice. Pop that. Sweet. I think we're far enough away. I hope we are anyway. Pop that. Go on to my last page of here. Claim this. Compare and buy and accept. And there we go, we've got our ship. Freaking awesome. If I wasn't getting shot at by these guys, I'd be half tempted to let off the fireworks. Dang it, I've got no launch thruster fuel. It's all in my other ship. I better run. Okay, away. right, well, I've transferred all the bits over. Lovely jubbly. Now a lot of people are saying that their egg, when they hatch it, doesn't actually work. It's just an invisible pet. Just like that. Yeah, I didn't get it either. Yeah, seems to be a new bug. I got it on my PC just fine. PlayStation 5, I didn't get my pet either. So that's another sort of bug that hopefully gets fixed in the very near future. Right, so now I've got to choose all the things that I want to take back with me. Okay, so the main important thing is this, so I can complete my catalogue. And I've also got the elixir of water to call in boss creatures. And I've also got elixir of quicksilver so I can find portals nice and quickly. Right out, so now I'm just going to hit end expedition. And accept a mondo. I guess. Okay, chums, so that's everything. That's the full expedition gone, gone and done. Now, when you're back into your normal save, you can go claim your ship, go pick all that stuff from the rewards terminal. Jobs are good.
Cool, yeah. Salute to Mondo. Hope that's helped you. That's my best tips for this expedition. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain